Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to set up the remaining schedules in my deluxe monthly for December. I'm also going to be putting together my cash dividers. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by using some cute washi at the top. This will be my weekly check-in page and December is going to be a very fun month for us. I've talked about this I feel like almost every video but we are hoping to be having our little baby in December and so lots of fun stuff coming up. Um, so in terms of December, I'm hoping that we get to the very end of December um, with her and that things go smoothly in terms of budget, but we'll kind of see how that goes. You never know, things always come up when you don't expect them. In terms of Christmas and stuff, we feel pretty prepared. We don't host Christmas, so that definitely makes things a little bit easier for us. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and set up our weekly check-in so that we can just make sure we're doing well. So I do track five things usually. Groceries, gas, household, um, eating out unbudgeted. So I'm going to need five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. I need five spaces. I did change around our um, weekly check-in like little kit. And so I'm really excited for January to start using that. One, two, three, four, five. But for now we kind of have the old layout and that's completely fine. Okay, and then we'll probably do one more. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll probably put one, two, three, four, five. Just a little piece of extra washi down here. just to add a little bit more decoration there. Okay, so we have week one, week two, week three, and week four. This also changed quite a bit in January, so definitely check out January's kits if you haven't already. I'm super excited to use the new formats. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and draw our lines in, and then we can move to our variable expense or our variable income tracker, which is something that I definitely have to have set up for December. It's one of the my most used trackers. I don't share a ton of that, but I do really love using it. Um, I love just estimating what. Um, what I think I will make for my variable sources and then tracking what I spend. Most of the spending is coming from Etsy because in terms of YouTube there's not a ton that's going on. Um, one other main thing that changed and you'll see this in December is I did come up with new expense tracking stickers and so my format of my tracking here will be a little different. I love that you can stack five expense tracking stickers in one box. I feel like that's perfect, especially because I seem to always have like a ton for groceries or a ton for other things in one box. Um, I do pay our bills on one day and so that also kind of helps with that. Um, I'm also going to set up this little spot up here for our variable income and I am not a huge fan of this color scheme that we have going on. So I'm going to try my best to cover this up and hopefully we can do that. Not a fan of the um, bright green for December, but luckily stickers help with that. And let's see. I don't know how much room. I want to save as much room as possible on this sheet. I think we're going to just add this extra one here. I like saving as much room as possible on this sheet just so that I can put in all the expenses and have plenty of space for that. 
but sometimes um, sometimes I don't need as much so I just want to cover that green up it's not my not my favorite okay so we'll put our income strip down here or up here and then hopefully I can just put the variable perfect variable income right up here and then didn't take up that much space but also covered up that horrible grain okay so um, we do I do have I usually leave some space here so I'm gonna leave five spaces one two three four five I don't necessarily have five different types of income but I do like to just leave some space because you never know so that's there and then I'm gonna add the tracking part right below it because again I need as much space for this as possible now that I'm using my um, now that I'm using the instant ink I love instant ink if you have an Etsy shop where you print a lot I definitely recommend it it saved me so much money so far and all my concerns related to it are completely gone like it has been great so I definitely recommend it if you have an Etsy shop but it definitely saves me a ton of money in terms of Etsy and it helps because then I don't have to have as much space here on this tracker so that is pretty much it in terms of all my trackers I have lots and lots and lots of empty sticker sheets here so that means that I'm all set up so basically the way that my budget flows I have my variable income over here because honestly this is like a separate piece this is mostly for bud or for my like business I don't create a budget necessarily for my business but this is kind of where I estimate what I'm gonna make um, and then I track any expenses this comes in super handy when I'm doing taxes because I don't keep any other forms of tracking besides in my deluxe monthly and so I legit just take a day or a couple hours out of a day type in all this stuff and in, into an excel sheet and then I'm ready for taxes so I keep this separate because for the most part it has nothing else to do with my budget the only piece that does come into play is that on my actual budget you see a variable income source of income and the difference between what I make and what I spend goes on to that budget sheet if that makes sense so I have variable income I usually take these two pieces together because I don't use that for anything I track groceries gas stuff like that on this page anything that comes out of our savings will be here then we have our weekly check-in page right next to our budget page and then we have our sinking funds and our transaction log for our sinking funds I feel like a lot of people get confused by this but basically I like to track our our um, transactions for our sinking funds separately from our other stuff because honestly sinking funds in my mind once I put the money in that fund it's gone the money is gone I don't even consider it um, being part of our like savings or checking account or anything like that and it's, it's in a separate account and I consider it gone um, so I like to have those two trackers in separate places okay so now that everything is set up I feel so much better about going into December and I need to stuff our cash um, divider so I went to the bank and got a ton of money out and I do have our dividers here so here are some of our dividers. We have eating out, we have household, which I'm not gonna use this time, so I'm actually gonna take that out. We have a hair category, and then I already put my allowance in my section. Um, so the cash dividers that we currently have are eating out, haircuts, allowance, and then eyelashes. So we need 250 um, for eating out, so one, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 
50. So that will go into our eating out. Hair, we need 40. So we will put that in there. And I will also be putting my um, eyelashes there. You know what? 20, 40, 60. I only got 60 out for that. So I'm going to have to go and get more because I changed that after the fact. And then the rest of, that should be left over is Jason's allowance, which is $80. So that is pretty much it in terms of us um, putting in our cash dividers. Here's my little setup currently. This is my new wallet. Oh my goodness. I hope that it hasn't been doing this this whole time. Um, so here's my wallet. I have all of my dividers in here along with the related money, which is great. And a lot of people asked me about the zipper and if I have issues with zipping it and I don't. Um, I love this wallet. I got this from Fossil on sale. I think it was like $30, $38 or something. Um, and it's great. I've loved it so much so far. So anyway, we're all set in terms of December. I hope you guys are having a great month and that December is um, getting set up for you as well. For me, I feel like I have to have my planner set up and I have to have my budget set up. And once that's all done, then I feel prepared and ready to tackle the month. So thank you guys so much for watching and seeing me set up all my budget sheets. If you guys have any questions for me, if you want to check out um, my budget kits, definitely use the links down below to do so. Like I mentioned, January is completely redesigned and I'm super excited for the new way that I set up the kits. So def definitely check those out. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.